Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a quotable graphic for Instagram or Facebook or any kind of social media using Canva and social squares. So I'm in my Canva dashboard right now, and I'm going to click over to the left hand side where it says create a design and I'm going to click on social media. Now, another thing that you could do is click on custom dimensions and enter in some custom dimensions. Um, let's actually try that. And let's size this to 1200 by 1200 pixels because that's how large our social squares images are. And that's going to give us a really nice um, high resolution graphic to, to display as well. So we've got a nice square canvas that's ready for us to stick anything onto. So I'm going to go to my uploads where I've already uploaded a couple of social squares images that I like. I'm going to choose one. It's going to, and as soon as I click on that, it drops onto my canvas. So I'm going to expand that to the entire width of my canvas. That's really nice and really high resolution because social squares images tend to be really large and um, well, they are really large and high resolution. So that's really nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of body text here. So I went to my text toolbar in my menu on the left. I clicked on a little bit of body text and I'm going to add in my quote here. So there's my quote. Let's do another body text block and put in who it's from. Now the nice thing about Canva is that it'll give us all of these free Google fonts that we can choose from. So we can either upload our own brand fonts or we can use a free Google font. So I'm just going to choose one that I think looks lovely. For you, you might want to choose one of your branded fonts, obviously, if this is for your business. And let's see. I'm going to choose another one for my attribution. I always think it's really nice when the attribution, um, whoever's being quoted, is in a different font. I think it just looks a little nicer to put them in two different font styles. So I'm going to work on a little bit of spacing there, and I'm going to size this way down so that the quote really stands out. Another fun thing that we can do is we can add in quotation marks up here. And we can put that in a pretty serif font that we like that tends to give us these really cool quotation marks. So let's find one that we think might look nice. All right. That's kind of cool. And we can make those quotations really big and stick them, put them in a different color and let's stick them behind our text. All right, I like that a lot. The nice thing about Canva too is that it lets you work on opacity. So over here where it says transparency, you can click on that and you can lower the transparency of whatever element you're working on. So I like that we've kind of moved that quotation mark um, behind the text and we've made it a little less opaque. You can even make a copy of this. So I'm just pressing copy paste on my keyboard, control C and control B for paste. And we can stick another one back behind that quote. So there you go. There's how to create a quote graphic using social squares in Canva. What you want to make sure you're doing is putting that text on top of some negative space. So when I say negative space, I just mean a part of your image that doesn't have a lot of color contrast and doesn't have a lot of propping. Um, but let me upload another graphic so you can see what I mean. So let's say we wanted to use the same quote for this image instead. I'm going to do the same thing. I just uploaded it. Canva is really nice. Once you stretch images to the full width of the page, it tends to send it to the background automatically because it recognizes that it's a background image. 
and we've got my text on here. We can even change the color of that to match something, one of the colors um, that's on my image, maybe one of these book colors. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to stick this on top of the books, obviously, because that's really hard to read with all those colors in the background. So we just want to make sure we find some negative space in the image to put that quote on top of. Here's another example. We've got lots of green negative space that we can work with here. So we could always move this quote over to the side if we wanted to. We can make it a little wider. We could even get rid of these guys and just do normal quotations. The sky is the limit, especially when you've got such great images to work with that have the negative space built in for you. So that's how you would create a quote graphic in Canva. One thing you want to make sure you do is always click export, download as a PNG. PNGs are perfect for online. And then click download. There you go.